the one thing I know about writing is you can't fight against reality. You can't beat it. It'll always beat you. So I remember when I was um, when I was doing the the it was what was the book? It was the first council, third book, first book I ever wrote about the White House. I had all my meetings lined up. Everyone at the White House was set to meet with me. It was great. First White House book I'm ever doing, and. I'm not joking, the week that it's, I'm about to go into the White House, this little scandal named Monica Lewinsky broke. And no one would talk to anyone. Every door was like, I gotta cancel, I gotta cancel, because you couldn't have a reporter come into your office. I, even though I'm a, a novelist, they, no one can talk to anyone right now, everything was shut down. And the Washington Post did this huge story that said basically, only a fool would be writing about the White House right now. That what's going on in the White House in the midst of Monica Lewinsky is so crazy that you can't compete with it. It's too nuts, so no one should be writing, no one would, only a fool would be starting a White House thriller today. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm that fool. I'm the fool. But I was like, I was obsessed with the White House. I just still wanted to know what goes on in there. Where are the secret tunnels? Where's the passages? What's going, you know, how does the president get out? And they eventually let me in. And they let me in because I am the fiction writer. I'm the guy who goes in because I'm not gonna quote you. I'm not gonna say you did something bad. So they, while Lewinsky was at its heyday, you can, I bet you can find footage of me going into the White House. I'm one of the only people, I, was, I had the head person of the Lewinsky investigation in the White House sitting and talking to me. It was a place every reporter in the whole country wanted to be. But I was in there because I wasn't going to tell me about Monica Lewinsky. I was in there going, what's it like when the whole world is staring down at a controversy like this? And just, I had the, great, I had the best seat in the whole house. Here's the best part. So now two years pass. And this time, my book is coming out. The book is literally coming out in, I think it's a month or two. And this tiny little TV show debuts for the first time on the air. It's called The West Wing. And everybody at that moment in time becomes interested in the White House again. And a week or two or a month later, a month or two later, my book comes out. And we, it was the biggest book I'd ever done at that point. Because suddenly, the only dummies who had anything to do with the White House was The West Wing and me. And the book took off.